It's a magnificent thing. The only newly originating life in the universe that comes in the image of God is man. The only newly originating life in the universe that lasts forever is man. This is an awesome thing. And as everyone knows, that reverence is not shared by our new president, over whom we have rejoiced. He is trapped and blind in a culture of deceit. And on the 36th anniversary of Roe v. Wade last Thursday, he released this statement. We are reminded that this decision not only protects women's health and reproductive freedom, but stands for a broader principle that government should not intrude on our most private family matters. Which I say, no, Mr. President, you are not protecting women. You are authorizing the destruction of 500,000 little women every year. No, Mr. President, you are not protecting reproductive freedom. You are authorizing the destruction of freedom for one million little human beings every year. No, Mr. President, killing our children is killing our children no matter how many times you say it is a private family matter. You may say it is a private family matter over and over and over and still they are dead and we killed them and you would have it remain legal. Mr. President, some of us wept for joy at your inauguration. And we pledge that we will pray for you. We have hope in our sovereign God.